What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're looking at some new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 news. That's right, today is a big day. We get to see the new Chapter 3 monster, and the name of the monster is Catnap. See what you're looking at right there? That's Catnap, and this is the Smiling Critters cartoon. So, today we're going to be looking at the cartoon. We're going to be breaking down secrets. There's so many secrets just packed into this, but also I've gathered everything. I also spent like two hours trying to render out in like eight. AI to see if I could bring this character to life. This is gonna be really cool. <laughs> but first off, let me welcome you to the new news. We, <laughs> we always call these videos like new news. It's the best. <laughs> so to begin, what is this cartoon? Wh where where did we find this, right? So um, this is part of the ARG. And if you don't know what ARG means, it's the alternate reality game to, I guess to boil it all down, ARG basically is the mini game to find secrets. The developers, Mob Entertainment, have been putting together this whole webpage right here, playtimeco.org, to kind of give us the secrets, but like in little, like, mini games, I guess. In one of our last news videos as well, uh, if you go to this page, you have to enter in this password right here, and then you could go to the email page, and then like get a bunch of secret images, but, we have like a new one right here. It says, we see we have your attention. Good, as promised, hidden in a box with old HI8s and blank cassettes. Like so much else buried there, same time Friday. And this was a while ago. It opened up to this page, but also has a code up in the top. And everybody already figured this out. Like people did it so fast. But then people found a tape and then I think Mob Entertainment was like, okay, you guys found it. And they posted it on Twitter. So like, this is what it is. Ready? It's like this jumbled mess. It's very creepy too, listen. Oh man. Oh. oh, and did you see that right there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you go through, at one point it stops, I think right here. Oh, yeah, right here. Um, uh, let's turn it upside down in um, Photoshop. So in Photoshop now, if you spin it upside down, you get golden path that people put into that ARG, that little computer program, and they got like some files. And they literally just like went in there, they found like little files and stuff. And uh, let me go and get them because everybody was so genius with this, I wouldn't have solved it myself. So in one of our past videos, we got this little transcript here that was empty, but now they filled it in. Uh, this Dr. Thomas Clark apparently like was, doing uh, these experiments maybe on this kid named Theodore. And it goes, Thomas, hi, Joel. We need to talk. I'm still trying to piece everything together. That would make two of us. And see, now we get to know everything. He says uh, they were loading him into an ambulance. He's alive and at the hospital. That's what I was told. And it says the paramedic says he was electrocuted. Currently, uh, what is it? It stopped his heart. He's like, that poor kid. I saw the burns as they were wheeling him out, but uh, nobody knew what was going on. It says he was trying to open a maintenance door out of play care. He had somehow gotten his hands on one of the grab packs and a green hand attached either something malfunctioned or he made a mistake how would he know what to do with it in the first place that's what we were like trying to figure out and it goes on to say we're not really addressing the elephant in the room are we so the thing that they're starting to lead up to is like who is working with this the kid theodore to make him do all this and everybody thinks it's the prototype are you suggesting what i think you are this imaginary friend of theodore's what uh what is this thing what has he been talking about um i don't know he's always been a bit odd hard to get a read uh but that they found a second grab pack by the maintenance store, that door that leads two people to open it. This is the only thing I can think that makes any sense. Um, it is just so crazy at the backstory before the game is coming out, huh? But then they released this picture as well. This was in the files and it's Theodore sitting on the bed, but look at that hand. That's the prototype. It says Theo H7. So the prototype is working with this kid to, I guess, try to like I, uh, break out or something. That was the thing that was like, okay, what is the importance of this kid? Like, why are they concerned? How does this play into the story? I think that there are two different entities here. There's catnap and then there's prototype. And the prototype is trying to do things maybe in opposition of catnap. But then that brings us to this, the Smiling Critters cartoon. They also found this in the files. Let's watch this together. All right, so it plays like a tape sound, by the way. Do you hear that? Hold on. This is what people were saying that like the tape sound is important because in every other chapter, a tape sound played and that was the intro to the game. Like in, in chapter two, it was Mommy Long Legs, that whole like weird commercial. Okay, but let's see this. All right. Oh man, it's so creepy, but it's so innocent, you know? Okay, so, oh man, there's so many of these characters here. 
keep an eye out. Look in the background, see if you can find anything, you know? There's always these secrets. Okay. We'll be okay, guys. I promise. Oh, it sounds like Wooly a little bit, right? Away. <laughs> Eventually. Oh. Oh man. Oh. Oh my gosh. Catnap! Please oh, man. help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it, Catnap. Please help us. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh wow, that's so creepy. It's so realistic looking. Oh man. Wow, okay. And then look at all of these things in the background. You get to see all these character names. And so that's the cartoon. Hold on. First off, I, I want to check the clock because sometimes that makes it like, like what is it? A, a clue, you know? It's like it says it's 10.05, but I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed is that the smiling critters are pretty much the representations of the kids. I think everybody's kind of like theory on this and everybody, like there's so many YouTubers that are making like great uh, videos on. I think it's Super Horror Bro, Sheep Rampage. All these people are making great videos. I'm glad you tuned into me because yeah, I, I just like ramble on. I'm like, guys, I think this. And then I just start drawing over uh, every picture. So. I, I thank you for watching me. I think that my theory about this is that these are all the kids. And I think because um, this whole program is about taking orphaned kids and doing crazy experiments on them, unethical, but there's no parents to be like, hey, don't do that, you know? And all these kids are just tormented and sad and they are just constantly being experimented on. And then this would be maybe either a monster that they designed to come in or I don't know, it's, it seems like they did like a, almost like a recreation. Do you see that? It's like a 3D thing right here. This either could be like one of the workers there with a mask on distributing this like sleepy, you know, smoke, right? To calm them down or it could be the monster. But let's let's take the theory that this is just a monster that they, they designed to calm down the kids. Look at them, they are just constantly scared. They come in and now they're happy. They play this cartoon to calm down the kids and be like, hey, don't freak out at all these experiments. Look, it's, it's your favorite character, Catnap. But I think that maybe Catnap went crazy, right? And Catnap, this monster that distributes this like, smoke you know went haywire right went evil and with the like bigger bodies initiative which is making all the toys giant we got huggy wuggy mommy long legs now catnap i think that it went crazy and they couldn't control it and that's why you had to have the gas mask but i mean look at this this creepy part of all the kids getting so excited but they don't know what's going on they don't know that they're basically just being forced to go to sleep to deal with the pain. And sitting there in the dark is Catnap. And then we have the voices right here of Dog Day, Pick, Picky Piggy, and Bobby Bear Hug. So Mob Entertainment just released, like in these past couple of days, information about two of the characters. I think that as of this video though, there's only two. There's definitely gonna be more. Probably by the time I post this, there'll be like maybe two more. I don't know, but they released this. Let's read it together. So this is Bubba Bubba Fint. Bubba Bubba Fint is the brains of the critters bright and attentive he keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices that way they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant each in their own right so i think that what this was is this cartoon is supposed to be something that they would make the kids watch to kind of keep them all you know in this confined space doing experiments but keep them happy and be like look you're like bubba bubba fan you know and then we got bobby bear hug a kind, caring soul, Bobby Bear Hug shows compassion for everyone and for everything. People in places and things, large or small, all are receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this intention and affection, and in turn, so is she. They all have sense for some reason. I don't know if that makes a difference of anything. Because I think Bubba's is lemongrass. So that leads us to this. So they posted this picture, and it was uh, this image right here of smiling critters, and you have all of them here. But then the next thing they posted was this. It was just like one missing thing. And obviously you can see that it was catnap. And this right here 
is catnap. These creepy smiles, by the way. I don't like this. And out of everything, they all have little icons. You know, they have, what is it? The, the light bulb. They have an apple, a flower, a sun, a uh, lightning. Oh, which could mean stuff. Uh, we have the moon here for sleep. We have a heart and then we have a star. So they confirmed that this is catnap and this is like the new monster that keeps everything in line. It's going to be so creepy, but the prototype, where does this all come in, right? Because with Theodore working with the prototype, I feel like in this next chapter, there's going to be this battle between the prototype and catnap. All right. So also on the Steam page, they updated the steam page to have all these images. So this looks like a new entrance. There's like blood on the floor and stuff. Something definitely happened here, but let's let's turn up the brightness. Okay, what is this? Oh, look, there's like a huggy wuggy just thrown up against the statue. Oh, and then like, this is like just a grand entrance with escalators going up. It just has a sign that says like, let's boogie. <laughs> but wow, it's just so grand. These like, like images are showing such a depth of the map design. And honestly, I think this new chapter is gonna be so creepy and eerie and I, I'm here for it, I, I like it. We have this next picture, which is just an empty hallway. Let's, let's turn up the brightness. All right, shield your eyes, it's about to get bright. Okay, I can't really see anything more. Look at how bright this is. Um, yeah, there's nothing like secret hidden in the background. It's just an empty hallway. I wonder how important this is gonna be because it seems like I don't know. It, there, there's something obviously around this corner um, over here, but I don't know what this is. It almost looks like a padded. Oh no, it's bricks. It's not padded. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. This is the next one, which now that we've seen the smiling critters, makes a lot more sense. Watch this. So turn to the brightness. <laughs> this is obviously way too bright, but if you look over here, you could see the like dog character from the Smiling Critters. So with, uh, what is it? Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Long Legs, Boxy Boo, and now we have this. So this is Dog Day, I think, or something like that. But look at this. Right here, there is a vent with so many scratches here. Something would come into this room and something would like be pulled out of this room, it looks like, or, or crawl through it. Maybe that's catnap, but this is where the kids would sleep. So presumably the kids were just freaking out. They were in tears. They were screaming. They were having all these experiments done to them and they would lay there and these workers would just be like, all right, send in catnap and catnap would climb through and just release the smoke to make them all sleep. That's such an eerie thing to think about. I mean, just considering how dark and dreary this room looks, it really paints a picture of just like agony for these children. And then if we go forward, we have this other picture and it says the hour of joy over here, which I don't know if we have any other like, more information about that what is the hour of joy because that's something that we heard of a long time ago like was that like an uprising of catnap and it was like the hour of joy we're breaking out of here who knows i have no idea what that is but it is a big theme it seems so we have these characters showing up again we have the doggy day character saying reading is fun we have the elephant i think as well but we also have one of the power connectors here which um in our story now we know that theodore was using stuff but obviously some crazy things happened here and uh things went a little haywire it seems there were people on the discord figuring out everything it is so crazy it's so awesome to see all these people coming together to just like solve so many things it's amazing i remember this in the last chapter or right, not in the last chapter it was this just for uh, project playtime that's crazy okay but here's something that i really want to show you i spent like two hours trying to find ai and rendering and doing photoshop to see if i can render out like a really creepy looking catnap to see you know what it would be like in the real game and so this is what i came up with it might it honestly it could be bad but here here it is boom this is kind of like the creation i was thinking of so i kind of uh there's like so many iterations of this like i was doing all this editing to see if i can like figure out how to get the vibe of it you know i think this is the picture that the ai came up with i was like oh i want it to be like a cat but like a dark creepy creature but the thing is is like it kind of looks a little like too long of ears, doesn't really feel right, but it has the general idea, you know? But that's when I did some editing, I rounded the face out more and just imagined this really crazy creature with claws, a smile. I also was like, maybe it, it doesn't have teeth or not. I tried to imagine it without teeth, but it kind of just looks a little weird. This is probably what it's gonna be more like, you know? Having a creature that just has like 
you know, empty and it breathes out this smoke. But I was like, what if it just has like teeth in the background? That looks cool. But look at that. That gives you kind of like this weird feeling because if you were staring at this thing and you saw like the kids just being like, yay, catnap is here. You would know just how brainwashed everything is, you know? I can't imagine being a worker. I mean, I got I guess if you were a worker there at, at Playtime Co., you had to throw away all your morals, you know? But uh that is essentially it. I think that's all the information we have. We know that Catnap is now the uh what is it, the new monster, and they said as well that the ARG isn't over. There's more to find, and this is just kind of like a big development in there. I'm excited. I, I really hope the game is going to come out soon. I'm so excited for this chapter. And I think it's going to be so like big. There's going to be so much to do. Like the backstory alone for this thing is already so intense and immense. There's so many areas as well that they showed in um, the images that we saw. It just feels like it's going to be really detailed. And honestly as well, the crazy thing is... is Huggy Wuggy is coming back. And I, I I think so though, because I do remember seeing like um, in the Discord, one of the developers was like, Huggy Wuggy will appear. But I also, I just found this one. Kissy will, fans will enjoy chapter three. So Kissy Missy as well. Honestly, I don't know how they're gonna fit everybody in. This was like, it's gonna be like a movie to play, right? But I think that's it. I think I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Honestly though, before you go, leave your theories about what's gonna happen down in the description. Do you think that Catnap is gonna be like this evil monster that's going to be trying to like chase us down or are we going to have to like like go and chase it down or is it going to be you know like him roaming around trying to solve things like what's his motivation now what is catnap's motivation now like that the kids are seemingly not there and also a maybe the prototype is trying to like stop catnap maybe the prototype will be good kind of like against playtime co and we have to help the prototype who knows? I guess we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it made you smile. That's all I want to do every single day. And hey, make sure to subscribe for all the coolest news. The new news, as it seems. <laughs> and once you subscribe, you'll be a part of the DAC Pack as we go towards 3 million subscribers. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. And I hope to make you smile in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.